So I always say that I have students and that I don't have clients. And what I mean with that, in 2015, 2016, I started working at the uh, gym in Norway. I just graduated from the Norwegian School of Sports Science. I was done, I studied fitness there. I then get on um, and get a normal gym, like, right? I'm working at the corporate gym, great gym, had a tremendous time, learned a lot, learned a lot, a lot. It's called Lifestyle, it's in Norway. But the thing was, at Lifestyle, so because it was a corporate gym from one of uh, Norway's biggest oil companies, we were eating with our customers, right? So, or our clients at that time. And most of the people that trained with me got tremendous results. Lost weight, they gained muscle, got stronger, more energy, la la la. Perfect. But the sad thing was that because we were eating with them, it's not the sad that I saw what they were eating. What was sad was that when they stopped training with me, I still kept seeing them in the food court. And it's not that their diet changed, like I wasn't aware that, that their diet changed not. But what was sad was that I saw how their results just kept getting lower and they got in worse shape and worse shape and worse shape until they ended up where they started or in some cases even worse. And why is that so sad? That's why I stopped having clients and started having students because I understood, and this is the sad part, I understood that this was because of me. They got those bad results because of me, because I was only focused on training them. And that's the thing with trainers, in-person trainers. That's why I talk about online coaching and the importance of online coaching and why it's superior compared to in-person training. Because I saw that I didn't teach them anything. I was so busy with working them out. So they came to me, had a 45 minute workout. In that 45 minute, I had to train them. I had to have a, you know, a small conversation. I had to warm up. I had to do some stretching, blah, blah, blah. And then straight after that, I had another client. And then if one client was late, then now our workout gets shorter. So I never really thought them about anything. And that's the thing. That's why I'm so focused right now on having students. Because the student not only take ownership of their training, he or she also is in, like they learn about training, they learn about that specific training, and me as their coach, not as their trainer, as their coach, have a responsibility in teaching them how to fly, teaching them how to fish, not only working them out, losing weight, because that's just working out, it's just the bandage of the effect of what has happened. Working out is just the bandage of the effect of what have happened, the root cause. There is something up here, a root cause, maybe low self-confidence, um, it could be thyroid problems, could be whatever, right? Here, that's a root cause. And the effect of the root cause is overweight, low energy, stiffness, blah, blah, blah. And then the workout is the bandage. The workout is the medicine for the effect. But as now when I have students and I'm a coach, I'm addressing the root cause. Because the why? And then after some time, I taught them how to fish, I taught them how to fly, and then a few weeks, fly alone a little bird. Then we usually reconnect after a couple of months. We have checking calls after my student has finished, just for me to understand where they are and see what they have learned they can actually apply to the day to day life. There's something we need to go in and tweak. If that sounded as interesting to you, I would love to help you out. Come to our students and I'll send you a DM with how we can help you to become one of our dance specific students. Remember as always, by dancers, for dancers.